talking about the renin angiotensin system. Um, I've been meaning to do a video on this for a while and people have been asking, so here it is. Um, first off, the whole point of the renin angiotensin system is to increase the blood pressure. So it's going to start when your blood pressure is decreased for some reason, and there could be a number of reasons that you have a decreased blood pressure. Um, and, and you can pick any one you'd like, doesn't matter to me. Um, but uh, you have a decreased blood pressure, uh, renin angiotensin system kicks in, and the end result of it, hopefully, is an increased blood pressure. So we want to bring your blood pressure back up. Um, so it, it starts in, well, uh, if we wanted to get real technical here, and sometimes I go into a little too much depth in my, my videos, I try not to, but there's receptors um, in your blood vessels that tell, that are able to tell uh, your kidneys when, um, when the fluid volume is increased or decreased, and, and uh, that's a lot of how your, how your kidneys work, but um, the point is your, your body recognizes when your blood pressure is decreased and your kidneys will know that, and um, if they're healthy kidneys and they're working properly, they will. Um, and your kidneys release a hormone that's called renin, Renin um, gets into the blood and, and or, or I should say, is released into the blood and it turns into angiotensin 1. Um, angiotensin, huh, angiotensin 1, I'm missing angiotensin 2 here, okay. Angiotensin 1 converts to angiotensin 2 um, and that happens, happens in the liver. Um, maybe I'll draw, draw a liver here. Uh, that's my liver. Um, so, in the liver, angiotensin 1 converts to angiotensin 2. Angiotensin 2 does two things. Number one, it constricts blood vessels, and number two, it releases aldosterone. Both of these things um, increase the blood pressure. And um, constricting the blood vessels is a pretty pretty simple concept, but in case you're not sure of why that is. Um, just think about, think of like plumbing in a building. You have a bunch of pipes and they're going all over the place and, um, and uh, you have a certain amount of water pressure in those pipes and um, let's, let's say that, okay, so this is most of the pipes and this is the water going through the pipes and let's say um, one day we had to replace all the pipes and so we replaced all the pipes with with thinner pipes they they weren't as wide as the old pipes were for for who knows what reason they were cheaper maybe that's why but so let's say we replace all those pipes and uh, we still have the same uh, let me try and find the same color we still have the same amount of water pressure coming or the same amount of water coming through those pipes so the the pressure of that water is going to increase same applies in the body. If you have more fluid um, fluid in, in your body, blood pressure is going to increase. Or if um, you have the same amount of fluid, but the blood, blood vessels are constricted, um, blood pressure is going to increase. So, so that's, that's why constrict, constricting blood vessels will increase the blood pressure. The other thing is the aldosterone. Um, aldosterone is a hormone that's re released from the kidney, from the or from the kidneys, I should say. Um, aldosterone um, retains sodium. I'll write that down here. It retains sodium, so um, it keeps sodium in the body, and along with sodium comes water. Um, so not only are the blood vessels constricted now, but there's more fluid being retained. Um, so if you have more fluid in the tank. Um, or you have an increased blood pressure. So that's uh, that's the basic idea of the renin angiotensin system. Um, it's actually pretty simple. Um, a lot of people overthink it. Um, there's a lot of processes that are happening here, but for the most part, um, the kidneys release renin. Renin turns into angiotensin 1 in the blood. In the liver, it turns um, from angiotensin 1 into angiotensin 2, and then angiotensin Angiotensin 2 has two effects. Uh, number one constricts blood vessels. Number two releases aldosterone, both of which increase blood pressure. And uh, and that's it. That's that's how it works. Um, now, as long as we're talking about the renin angiotensin system, we can talk about ACE inhibitors. Um, and and all, all you need to know is that ACE inhibitors are stopping... Um, or inhibited, inhibiting this whole process from happening. 
So um, the the ACE inhibitors that we we commonly use end in pril, P R I L, um, and that would be like the catapril, the lisinopril. Um, there's lots of other ones I can't think of right now, um, but but basically they stop this whole process from happening. So that is how ACE inhibitors work, and that's what the renin angiotensin system is.